Hey y'all, so I'm back with our favorite Jelly Junkadori. <laughs> All the goodies in here. Um, okay, so move my coffee over here. So these are the pages I have. I have a nice sheet of uh, onion skin. So I think where I'm going to begin is I'm going to spread some Let me see, where's my, my spreader? I'm gonna spread some gold because I, I don't think I got enough gold from working in the, the large journal. So let's spread some of this. I thought it'd be nice on this onion skin. Oh yeah, because it'll it'll look a lot like um, you know, a gilted page. Some more and I'm just going to have at some more collaging it's definitely the mood I've been in what am I not in the mood for collaging right <laughs> now I'll put some over here I have some extra left over on here. Might as well just put it in. String in here. Okay. Yeah, it really gives this gilted look to the page. Love that. Okay, so you kind of go back and figure out. I want to figure out all my little pieces because I'm definitely going to do some more um, what do you call it? Antiquing. Mm -hmm. Let me get that edge off okay I think this may end up being kind of like a tuck spot and over here let's see what I have I like that that's going to end up being a two-parter there so I'll put that over there so all this stuff that I'm going to and let's see let's just rip this off kind of going to go on there some kind of way that has to be done for the little bits and bobs I have mm -hmm. maybe I should How do I want to do this? Do I want to put it? Do I want to do it this way? So I slide it in. Okay, I'm gonna make a pocket. I'm gonna make a pocket because I'm going to put a book in here. So let me see, I have this. Let's just take in, this is gonna be the book cover. And then we're gonna throw some extra pages in here. So that's going to be good. So that should fit inside of here. No problem. Yep. Okay, so let's get some more 
off pieces because I've got to stain all of those. So let's see. We'll get it about the same. I need to get the same width here. So this gets torn off. Just I'm going to stain the front and backs of these so that the back page isn't just blank. Because I this is just on regular copy paper, so I didn't do this on any special stain paper or anything. When I printed this stuff out to So we'll do three pages. This will do it. Okay. I think that's everything. Um, so these are all going to get done. Yeah, I think I'm going to use this. And I think I want to use some of this too. I don't know how yet, but I'm going to figure it out. Oh, you know what? This is a good one to use our, our tags. So let me pull them out so that I don't forget. Yeah. Out of sight, out of mind. That's definitely true for me okay let's get into this this is fun I'm trying to keep I'm really trying to keep myself organized so keep this over here so they're not in my way I can see them but okay I don't know how I'm going to use this but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tear a piece uh, preemptively so that I can stain it. And then when I decide how I want to use it, at least it's already stained. Okay. All right. So throw all my trash in my basket right here beside me. I like working neat. Okay. So let's put this over here. Let's have fun with all the staining. So what I need to do is attract um, Tim Holtz to ask me to <laughs> do a special artist project or something, <laughs> tutorials or something. Because, like, you know, generally when you do those, they always ask, well, what product would you like? I like straight up rubber stamps. <laughs> no shame in my game. It'll be like rubber stamps, please. Because these things are like 20 bucks a set. I mean, I, honestly, now that I broke down and used them for the first time, they are worth it. They really are worth it. They're a real good quality impression and everything. They're not like cheapos, but still. $20 for two? Okay. So, you know how we like this light, because this other side is going to be stained. I am going to do the staining on it, but it's nothing like having this little bit of a... Uh, um, you know, put this back up there so they're not in my way. Okay, nothing like having something on the other side so that when you go to journal, it's just like a little light thing. Okay, so now let me keep up with my stuff. Okay, I think I'm still going to stain this too. So let's start with frayed burlap. 
nice amount on here because we got a lot of staining to do. Okay, let's um, start with getting But I got dark quick. Let me just rinse some of that off. Let me see here. I came through the other side nicely. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking some of it off. Okay, great. Okay, just lightening it back up. Okay, let's put that there. Um a little bit more water down so I can diffuse that a little more. Let me just do some of this like this. Yeah, I didn't have enough water on that first one. It's okay though. Okay. A little bit. Okay. Right there. Okay. Hmm. Cool. It's letting that start to dry so I can. Okay. That looks good. Perfect. Let's get a little bit more. Staining stuff up. Looks good. Get some on these edges. Sometimes you work so much on the center that, you know. good amount on on here that was that's why that first one went kind of dark but it's okay why do I've got to order or one of my pens I'm supposed to have a um a project which in which I want to use my white uniball and I'm out of them let me get a little bit of gathered twig it's a little darker I don't want a lot of it Kind of want to get some on the back side of this. I don't know if I'm going to glue that down completely, but I want to at least have it both sides done so I have the option. Alrighty, so. Let me just have a, I'm going to need a glue sheet anyhow. So let's just put this down. So we can, oops, I forgot I put my thing away. We can start this process of drying everything. Okay, so we're gonna let this all dry. Okay, yep, that's what this is gonna go right. Oh, that looks good. That's gonna go right there. Go ahead and get this down. I like that. Okay. Oh, love that. Looks good. Gonna go there. 
And then these right here are going to rip these out. this edge all right perfect so let's go ahead using our glitter glue which I think I, it's gonna be time for me to fill this up again this is the edge I want there so let's just go around Make a narrow pocket because you could just stick tags or tickets or something. Stamps even, since we're doing stamps, you could actually have a place for I just like work working with the this is old world feel and the gold leafing and everything. Love it. So let's go ahead and get this one down. So that's going to go there. Okay. Oh, love that pumice. You guys are, if you're working with the pumice, you know what I'm talking about. Gets me every time. So now this can go on there. Use my glue stick. Oh, I love these pages. I, you know, I'm just crazy about old world looking things. As much as I like the Asian ephemera, I just love old, like Rococo, like gold and just old world look. The rich colors of that. Do it like that. Love it. Ooh. Okay. And so over here, wow, put that there. I had less space <laughs> than what I thought. Okay. So I'll get this up here. And this other one, what happened to it? There it is. I'm gonna put that, I'll just put this down the bottom. This will come out like that. So literally I could get it down there. Let's look at these labels. I like the idea of that green one. That pops. Let's see what I can put over on this other side. Something, something slight, nothing really big. Oh, this 831, 83, that, that's nice. Where can I put this? Yep, we'll put it right there. Right down here at the bottom. Okay, so you guys can see it real quick while I work on the book. But um, yum, right? On the coffee stain background. Love it. Love it. Okay. Let's look at that gorgeous little booklet. Yum. Yeah. So then we have our pages. So on the other side, not only do we have our staining, but we have our, see the little scripting? It looks so good back there. This is the gesso one. And you can even see where, well, we knocked a lot of it back and you can see a little bit of the scripting. That's nice. 
this one. Same thing here. We've got like color and scripting. I just like the way the inkjet um, bleeds. So we have some places to write. We have some other interesting places. It looks old book. And this should, although I've done all that, I didn't even try it. This should slide right in here. Yep. There we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, I love it. Slides right in perfect. Ooh, yum, yum, yum. Look at that page. Oh, that's just good. A little label down there. And this gold leafed one. Oh. And this can just be a tuck spot for, you know, for stamps or other kind of like little ephemera. I'm loving this. Okay, there we have it. Well, hope you guys enjoyed that spread. I'm having, you can see I had a good time with it. You can even just take, um, I am working on some old documents, but if you don't have any old documents, just even go through some of your old books. You know, we have all kind of like just old books on the bookshelf. And just anything that has interesting pictures or images, just photocopy them. And then, because that's all I did is photocopy these. They're just on regular photocopy paper. So just get creative. A lot of times old books will have these on them. Um, or just maybe there's some images or some pictures, you know, um, and just photocopy them. And then go through this process that I just went through with the dist distress oxides. And just make your old, you know, your own yummy old world paper. That's what I basically did here. So, yeah. All right. Take care. I'll see you guys again soon. And um, happy creating. Take care. Love you guys. Bye-bye.